Yay, it looks like we're live. That's fun. Hello, hello, and welcome to today's live stream. Uh, do let me know in the chat if you can see and hear me properly. Although, if you can't hear me, then uh, I don't know how you'll be able to do that. I'm sure you will anyway. I uh, had a bit of a problem with the sound last time, so I uh, just want to make sure it's all working today. And yeah, uh, so um, so I've really enjoyed doing the live streams that I've done over the last few weeks. I had a week off last week, which was great fun. I went to see my family and I had a really relaxing time. And I'm back and I've got... Um, I've got a little project to do today. Um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I've got a um, picture of a little tractor and a boat um, from a beach and I thought I'd give this a go. It's um, I'm going to do it in line and wash and I thought it would be good to do something that wasn't a building but still like it's a man-made structure but it's got like it's got more complicated stuff on it. It's got some curves and some wheels and um, little boys and things like that so I thought that would be fun. So I'm going to switch to the top down camera in a minute um, and uh, and make a start. Um, so yeah let me know if you're um, if you're watching along if you're if you're painting along that would be really cool to know as well and uh, yeah if you um if you have any questions then put them in the chat and i'll try and keep monitoring it as i go along and uh and try and answer anything but also i'll probably have questions as well i did when we did the building like what are these round things and somebody came up with an answer to it so yeah uh let's give it a go so i'm going to switch to the top down camera now so you should see my tabletop and you should see the reference image as well. So there we go. So there we are. Right, I'm going to move over there now. It's a few inches um, and you might be able to hear me a bit better as well because I'm closer to the microphone now. So I've got um, I've got my moleskin watercolour sketchbook that I'm going to be working in today um, and then I've got a pencil to do a quick sketch with I've got a pen, um, so any kind of waterproof pen will do. I like these Unipin ones, and I've got a 0 0.3 one today. Um, so yes, yeah, so something kind of mid-sized. Um, and I have, um, I've got uh, my round paintbrush, the number eight, that I'm going to be uh, uh, doing the painting with. I had a feeling that I think I'm going to try and do something a little looser today than I would normally do so uh, so I'm going to try and stick with a slightly bigger paintbrush but we'll see how I get along um, but I'm planning just to use the one paintbrush and then I've got my uh, watercolour uh, palette here so oh we've got some people watching oh cool um, from Cape Town from Manhattan Vegas Florida New Mexico, Cornwall and Romania. Wow, cool. So thank you and um, thank you for joining today. Um, right, so let's see. You should be able to see the reference image in the top left hand corner um, and that's going to stay there throughout the whole thing. So uh, so yeah, so you should be able to see that. Um, but if you want to download it later, there's a link um, to download it from our website if you want to do that later. I'm going to move my paints out of the way for now. Um, and let's just have the drawing implements nearby. Um, let's get a fresh page. And then I'm not sure whether to do this uh, vertically or whether to do it horizontally. Um, I think I think I'm going to do it horizontally, um, but I think it could work either way. So uh, let's do that, and then I can zoom you in a little bit as well. There we go. So hi from uh, hi to uh, wow um, La Plata is NM is that New Mexico as well? Um, um, Bangladesh, gosh, wow, right. 
So my, uh, I want to start with a horizon line. So I'm just going to do a pencil sketch first, very briefly. And uh, yeah, so maybe about a third of the way up the page. Something like that. I think that's good. And then let's see. Just want to start blocking in shapes. Uh, so I've got a, I've got the boat, um, which is kind of going to go here somewhere, and then I've got the tractor, which is kind of going going to go in front of it. Um, I can take some lines out from my horizon line, um, like that, like that maybe, and up here, like that, and like that, and then I could draw, like this box shape here that's going to have the boat in it. I actually think, does it need to be a bit further? Maybe it needs to be a bit further. Let's make it a bit bigger. So if the boat goes in here, the back of the boat is kind of coming up here. There's the curve at the back of it. Um, the side of it is going down there. You can just about see the top of it. And then there is the the bow, I think. You, is that the bow? This is why I'm going to say I'm going to ask you questions. I'm sure people know more about boats than I do. Um, but yeah, that's, that's not a bad shape. So what I've got here is um, I've got the... I've just imagined like there's a giant like ice cube with a with a boat like sitting inside it. And then I can use that to try and get my proportions right. There, about there, is where that wheel is. And then there's the the like the metal rigging. No rigging, so we have sails, isn't it? Um but yes, this kind of metal structure is going up there like that. And there is the lifeboat. But, oh, you know, I do this when I'm filming. I say the wrong word and then I have to go back and repeat the whole thing and edit it all out. So um, with the live stream, you just have to get used to me saying the wrong word all the time and, and then going ah, and correcting myself. So there's the basics of a boat and uh, yeah and then in front of that we've got this tractor um, and the, the most obvious thing about the tractor are the wheels that I can see from here. So let's see, put in a wheel there, a wheel in front of it. And then there's the body of the tractor. There's not actually that much of it that you see from here. So I hope you can kind of make out what I'm sketching here. So just sketching the width of the wheel and I've made it a little bit fatter than it is but that's okay. And there's a one in front and I've made that stick out a little bit further than it does on the picture, but yeah, that's okay too, a little bit. It just makes it look like it's at a slightly different angle. And then mostly what you see on the back of the tractor is this blue tarpaulin. And then there's like a broom sticking out the top, like that. And I think that's it for the sketch. Canopy, oh, yes. Mm, okay, right. So I'm going to try and take out my initial like sketch lines that kind of went to the vanishing point in the distance just because I feel like they're a little bit confusing now. So I'm leaving in the, the ones that I actually want. But don't feel like you have to do this step. I just don't want to get confused because I've got too many lines on here. Something like that. 
and now I'm going to go in with a pen and just uh, start uh, doing the the big shapes and then um, I think I'm going to work from the the stern of the boat towards the the, the prow I think that's it um, the back of the boat to the front um, because that way that I can um, I can make sure that the things that are in front in the in the picture are in the front and I don't end up drawing lines through them accidentally so yeah so to me the most prominent thing is the red a little red detail so I'm getting that in it goes like that and the same on the other side sticks out a little bit at the side of the boat um, yeah I think that's all I need for that. There's a line um, across here so it's a little bit lower in between those bits there and then there is the, the nice curve and I'm going to do this fairly slowly and I'm doing a little bit on each side and then kind of looking at my reference and just trying to make sure I get the curve nicely and there we go we'll do that and then what do we do now we do uh, we can do this nice curve at the side of the boat I'm just checking with my reference image that there's no lines in the way of it can do the same I can bring it round and I'll join up there and then there's the I'm guessing this is the rudder at the bottom it will triangular a bit or is no the keel see um, my nautical knowledge is very limited and underneath the boat there is the trailer so there are bits of the trailer that you can see so there are some like planks coming down here and then on the other side as well And there are some struts in between them so I'll just put a couple of lines in to indicate those now I can do a little bit on the side of the boat but then we've got these buoys um, which I really want to get in because um, they're great fun so that's one two three four and I think I've made them a little bit different to how they are in, in the picture, but that's okay. And then I can finish up the curve around to the front of the boat up there. And it curves up and it, it comes up to a little bit of a point higher up there then I, I think I've just sketched it in right let's go back to the back and put these metal poles in metal pole there and then the front ones angle down a little bit and then it's got some cross pieces as there and then the top so actually that comes up a bit higher at the top and we get a line coming across here and down and then 
the one in front of it like that. There are cross pieces across there as well. There is the life belt preserver on the top and then there's what looks like a little radio mast something like that I hope you can still see and hear what I'm doing um, I'm I'm doing what I normally do which is going I'm starting with the big shapes and then I get all like kind of into it and I start putting in details as I'm going along. So there are lots of bits around the front of the boat as well, kind of little poles and um, other kind of uh, bits of uh, fishing equipment, let's call it. <laughs> um, but I don't want to get too much into the detail of that because it can be a little bit, it can be, it can be hard to get all of that in. So I'm just going to make sure that I get the, like the far side of the boat in there. So it looks like it has an inside and then I can just put in a few lines indicating that there's kind of stuff in the boat. And I want to get these um, the tires in and they're nice and thick they've got lots of kind of ridges and things on them so there's one on that side you can only just see it behind the uh, the trailer but then this side you can see quite a bit and it's slightly curved so I'm drawing like the vertical cylinder and then putting the ridges in. And then giving it a centre like that. Okay. I kind of like how that's half embedded in the sand so I'm just going to put a few lines around it and then um, and then what am I doing there's a line where the trailer goes forward and it joins onto the tractor um, but yeah let's finish the boat first and then I'll put the I'll put the tractor in so we need to see some of the, uh, the lettering on it. And it's got, it's got the remains of a paint job. So a light line to indicate where the colours change. got a name and it says Great Yarmouth over here right Oh, and then in the middle of here, I can see there's a, that line there. Um, there is this kind of trapezoid shape here. And it has some little markings on it like that. So I'm going to get that in. And then down the side of the boat, you can see the, the 
planks of wood that the boat's made out of, which is quite fun. So they can go in there too. Right. Now I'm going to put this tractor in. I'm going to start with wheels. Let's make it a bit taller than I actually sketched it. See the inside of the wheel there, and then again the chunky pattern of the tyres. There's a, a wheel in front, and it will have the same tyres, but you can't see very much detail there at all. And then the back of the tractor has all sorts of interesting shapes on them that I have no idea what they are, but I'm going to put them in anyway. And then the back of it seems to be covered with a nice blue tarpaulin. So let's get that in. There's the roof of it. Oh, where was that? Where was that broom sticking up from? Oh, I seem to have moved my tractor. It seems to be a little bit left of my boat now, but never mind. Um, let's see, there's a broom sticking up from the boat and I can't work out whether it's in the boat or whether it's on the back of the tractor. Let's make it in the boat. Put it up there, put it up there, it sticks up like that. It may not be a broom, it's broom shaped, that's all I know. And then there's this like armature on the side of the tractor that holds the mirror. And there's another one on the other side. And yeah, I think I could do with a few lines joining bits together, like the axle there. It's kind of looked like the wheel was kind of floating. But yeah, now I'm just kind of going around and looking and saying, have I got any bits that I've missed, anything that I really want to get in there that I think should be in there. And not particularly, but there's a couple of little bits. Um, let's see. Right, now I'm going to take away my pencil lines and just make sure that I'm happy with my drawing with the sketch before I go in with any colour. So I'm also going to put in the, pen, the horizon line with my pen. going along there and then it comes out the other side and actually there's two lines because there's one for the sea and one for the, the edge of the sand so we'll do that and then I can take all the pencil away and see with what see what I'm left with is anybody sketching along with this um and am I going too fast for you? Is it um, is it too slow? Are you ha are you happy with how it's going? Um, just let me know. Right. I think that looking at my sketch, I think I should have made it a bit taller. The the boat, I mean. Um, but, you know, it's a sketch. It, it is what it is. And next time I might do it differently. But then next time I'll probably make a different problem, make a different error. So that's okay. Um, but yeah. Oh, 
Hang on. There's some more bits like sticking out into here that I want to get in. Don't know what these things are, but they add to the the look of it. You can spend all day adding little bits like this. It's quite fun. And then, oh yeah, there's lots of rope looped around there. That's quite that's quite good to get that in. And then loops up there. There's something more up there. Yeah, like like I say, you can spend you can spend hours just adding adding bits. So and now I'm going to go in with some colour. I'm going to zoom you out again a little bit so you can see the. Um, and we're going to put this put that there. And let's see. Can I get it to a space where you can see the paints and the sketch? Just about. How's that looking? So I've got my paints, I've got my water, I've got a paper towel here, and um, I am going to Um, I think what I'm going to do is um, is very loosely put the uh, put the sky and the sand in. Um, so the sky, I'm going to just paint with water, um, and I'm going to paint you know, up to and around. The boat so I know you can't really see what I'm doing here um, painting just with water let's see if you can see the sheen on it from the camera like that and then what color sky you do is it's up to you really it was quite a dull day when I did this and I might kind of stick with that um, uh, but if you wanted to make this look really sunny, um, you could do that with a really bright blue. Um, I am quite liking a Payne's Grey sky at the minute. The Payne's Grey that I've got is um, is from Windsor & Newton and it's got a lot of blue in it. Um, but if you wanted to kind of tone that down a bit, you could add a bit of a brown into it. So like a burnt umber just takes the edge off that blue like that. The Payne's Grey that I've got is also quite potent so if you um, if you put some um, if you put some water on it and let it sit there you can end up with a really dark kind of wash of sky and I'm gonna just start dropping this in at the top Maybe a bit more blue. And then I'm going to bring it down like that. And drop a bit more of the, the bluer Payne's Grey in at the top. I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do. I've just kind of swooped it down and I'm giving it some like darker areas and some lighter areas uh, just to give it a bit of differentiation. Make it look like there are some clouds in the sky. And hopefully when that dries it should dry to a really nice soft kind of cloudy finish that's a bit darker at the top and top and maybe makes it look a little bit moody and um, oppressive. Um, and now I'm going to do some sand. Um, 
Uh, my kind of go-to colour for sand is raw umber, but um, you could use like a yellow ochre instead and then um, kind of, yeah, tone it down a little bit with maybe a little bit more of the blue. That does give you a bit of a greenier colour. Um, so let's go with the ultramarine. And... Oh, too much blue. See what I mean? That's that's what that paint spray does. It's like, whoa, that wasn't what I intended. <laughs> okay, we'll start again. I can use that for something else. Um, right. So the raw umber. Tiny bit of ultramarine blue to kind of calm it down. And I'm going to paint in some sand. And I'm not wetting it this time. I'm just going to go in and go around my tractor and boat. And I'm putting it in kind of up to the, uh, yeah, up to there. And then I'm just going to kind of wash it down. Um, and if I use my brush on its side, I get lots of kind of texture from the page. Let's put in a bit up here as well. I'm just going to kind of trail it off. One thing I do like about the sand is the sense that it has kind of darker bits. So I'm going to try and make a little bit of a darker bit while it's still wet and go in and I think this has already dried a little bit so I'm just going to put in a few little darker kind of trails of sand in a few places maybe up here okay a bit under there as well. Okay, actually I was going to take away this little bit where it's gone over the wheel but I'm just going to leave it because I'm going to paint over it with something dark anyway. You can see my page is warping a little bit because I've put so much water on the sky. I've left this little gap for the sea in between the sand and the sky and I can go and fill in that later, but it just stops those colours running together. So, what now? I'm going to mix a bit more ultramarine blue into my um, kind of little bit with Payne's Grey in there, and I'm going to fill in this tarpaulin bit there. That's it. Anything else blue that I can see? Some of those ropes are blue, let's do those. They're a slightly different blue, but that's okay. There's some. Um, tops of those little boys are blue and then there's some traces of blue paint on the bottom I want it to be a little lighter so I'm going to add in a bit more water to get that blue on the bottom of the boat there and on the keel like that and I'm just going to drop some of that Paints grey into it in a few places to make it look nicely weathered. Um, let's see what now. The most obvious thing is the red around the outside of the boat and then the boys have got this lovely um, orange and uh, in yellow on as well. They're very cool. Um, so I'm going to use some of this red. This is Windsor red but um, cadmium red is very similar. Uh, 
and I'm using the tip of my brush and I'm going to go in and paint along here, one there, and then it does sort of go around the around the front of the boat as well, but it's a lot more muted there. So let's just mix it a little bit randomly with another colour and uh, and then put that in there. And then the same on the tractor. It's actually much more orange. And there is some orange in those boys as well, so I'm going to mix up some yellow next to my red and start adding in that in there. Now if I, that's a lot of a lot of liquid on that and if I paint the one next to it it's going to bleed so I'm going to take some of that liquid off so it has a chance to dry while I'm doing the live stream. And then a little bit of that orange, well the red I've just mixed with the yellow a little bit and just allowed it to bleed into it into the next colour. Um, and I can add some bits of this tractor that are that colour as well. And the other thing that would be orange is the wife vest up here. And hopefully my sky is dry enough that that's not going to bleed. It's looking okay at the minute. Um, there's a tiny little orange bit there. Looks like a warning light or... No, not a warning light. I don't know. Something, something orange anyway. And then these boys here are nice and bright and orange as well. I'm going to take a little bit of that yellow and just do the centres of these tyres. And I'm, I feel like I'm kind of nearly there that I want to put in some shadows but I can't really do that until all of this is dry. I want to do something nice and dark underneath here. So I'm just mixing together the uh, Payne's Grey that I already had on my palette with uh, the, the raw umber and it does give me a bit of a greeny Kind of shade but it's dark so that's okay and it's going to go underneath the boat there. Um, I think I'm just checking and the edge of my sky and the edge of my sand is it's dry there it's not quite dry there but it's actually quite clear there so I'm going to go in with the t paper towel and just dab that off, give it a chance, and then let's mix my boys together and get something that I can use for the sea. And I'll put that in there. I did say I wanted to be loose today, didn't I? Right, I'm working out what I can do now. Um, the bits in the centre of the wheels that I put on are still quite damp. I do know that I could use a hairdryer and dry them off, but um, yeah, I'm not sure you want to sit you you want to sit and watch me drying things with a hairdryer either. So um, I'm going to use this Payne's Grey. Add a little burnt umber into it. Yeah, actually, that's burnt sienna, not burnt umber. I I yeah, mm -hmm. I should have known that. I'm really using this because it's the darkest colour on the palette and I'm mixing in like the opposite colour to give me something which is kind of like a neutral bluey grey colour. 
um, and then I can go in and paint the wheels. Something like that. And I can also use this colour to add real darkness underneath the boat. Here. And putting some shadows like underneath the tractor as well. Highlighting my highlighting, where's more low lighting? My little structure there, and then I'm going to add in some little lines of shadow around some of the structures, um, and then underneath these bits here, and under the boys as well. just adding in the shadow bits. Trying to make it come to life. <laughs> so I think I don't want to do too much more to this, um, especially not now because um, I don't want to mess it up while it's wet. going to add a little bit more water into that shadow so I can make it a little bit more subtle and I want to do some kind of subtle shadows on the sand under here and kind of out this way because I can see on the boat it's yeah on the reference image it's really it looks quite dark down there and I want to make sure that I get that in. And yeah, I think any more, and I might be messing with it too much. I think I'm not sure I like these shadows here, so I'm gonna, I've washed my brush, I'm drying it off, and while this is still wet, I'm just gonna take some of that out there and instead I can go back and add another layer of vibrant colour onto the boys, make them stand out a little bit more onto the edge here, because the watercolour always dries lighter than you think. Um, and I do find sometimes that going through and just adding a little bit more just helps it pop. Right, I think any more and I'm gonna be messing with it too much, so I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom you out and I'm gonna bring it back over here. And I'm going to put my brush down before I before I kill it. So um, let's see. Oh yes, don't forget to click like. That really helps. Um, so thank you to Neurotic Nation for saying that. And hello to DB from Brazil. So I feel like today I was a little bit more chaotic with the colours. Um, I kind of planned out which colours I wanted to use um, and I knew that I wanted it to be loose, which isn't my natural style. Um, I think, um, I don't know if, you, if this comes across, but I quite like the way it looks from a distance. So if I sit back, I quite like the way it looks there. But if I actually look at it a bit close, I think it looks a bit of a mess. But 
that's my problem with loose painting is that I always feel like that um, and I always feel like I want to overdo it I don't know if anybody else has that problem that actually it feels too um yeah I, I feel like I want to control it more um but uh but yeah it it defies that it doesn't it doesn't want it so um I do like the way the sky turned out um I like the you can see some of the the blooms up here but they're really really subtle I really quite like that I like the way that colors separated a little bit and I, yeah I don't know if you can see that but yeah some bits look kind of more granulated and they've got little bits of the um of the brown pigment in um and uh yeah I um I think it'll it, it'll become a little bit more subtle as, as some of these colors dry um it's it's better to wait for things to dry completely before going in with a, a second layer but because I'm live streaming and I want to kind of get it done and do it fast I'm kind of always tempted to kind of go in before things are dry and uh, and then colors are running um but yeah I think um I think I'm quite happy with it um I'll be posting it over on my Instagram feed and if you have a go at this I'd love to see uh, what you do um I'd love to see whether you go for the um the the loose painting or more tight and control painting um so yeah someone says I oh, free spirit says I like your watercolor better than the photo okay that's cool thank you uh -huh. um so yeah um but yeah, I wanted to do something a little bit different with this, um, and I've not tried a boat before, so I thought it was it was a good a good subject. Um, I quite like I quite like doing it kind of moody and dark um, and almost like stormy. Um, I uh, um, I think it could be a really different picture if you did it with like a really bright blue sky, like a cobalt blue, and it could look really sunny, um, and then you could really like accentuate the shadows and make it look quite um quite bright and bold and it would be a very different kind of picture um but uh but yeah it um i, I quite like I'm, I'm quite liking kind of dark and moody at the minute so yeah so if you do give it a go um you can post it on instagram tag me at lou rachel davis and i um yeah i always like to see the things you've made and if you don't want to post it publicly you can always dm me and i do check my dms and uh and yeah respond to, i like to respond to people so um if you uh yeah if you do give it a go then i would be very happy to um yeah um share the love i think so um thank you very much for watching today and um, I'm going to go back to the main camera now. Let's see. There we go. So yeah, thank you very much for watching today. Uh, I really hope that you've enjoyed it. And um, if you'd like to see more live streams, then do let me know. I I really enjoy doing them, and I really enjoy like the chat with you guys. Um, it's 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 a very different experience to kind of filming a video in complete silence and then editing it and. Um, yeah, that's a very different process. I like both of them, but I'm really enjoying the, the live streams at the minute. So, um, yeah, um, do let me know if you like them too. Um, I, I'll probably be doing more of them. Um, and well, especially if, if people watch them and, and if, if people are obviously enjoying them, then yes. Um, but it actually makes it life easier for me because I've got a very, very busy month coming up. And I don't know how many videos I'm going to get recorded. I have plans to do uh, some. I've got plans to do one of Lincoln Cathedral Square. I really want to do that um, with the cathedral and then loads of different buildings, all kind of different architecture. It looked great. I was like, I really want to paint that. So I really have a plan to do a video of that. But um, but yeah, I can probably fit in more live streams than I can recorded videos. So uh, let me know what your preference is there and I look forward to seeing you again very very soon So thank you very much for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining in and Yeah, I look forward to seeing your um, your versions of the little boat on the beach So, okay. Thank you and uh, take care and Yeah, I hope you're safe wherever you are in the world <laughs> Thank you for joining me today
and uh, yeah I will see you again at some point very soon I'll put a new date up for a live stream um, usually about four or five days before it happens okay thank you very much okay bye bye